what is going on guys quick intro right now so we are over at tempe town lake we got probably about 45 minutes to an hour to walk the bank we're going to be walking right down the bank we're going to be heading west and we're just going to cast along the bank square bill and maybe some top water see what we could do i know this time of year that the bass like to push bait up this time of day up against the bank and uh they typically like to slam but We'll see what we can do. It's pretty busy out here. There's a lot of kayakers and everything, but I don't see a whole lot of shore anglers or really anyone on the shore for the matter. So we'll see. See what we can do. Hopefully we can catch a few fish. It'd be pretty sick. But other than that, I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys hopping on board to the Southwoods Fishing Fam. You guys are awesome. We're almost at 2,300 subs. So if you're not already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like button, and bell notification. Let's get out there and see what we can do. So we're gonna try the buzz bait first. See if we could draw a fish up. I mean, who doesn't like a little bit of top water action, you know? There's a little bit of algae, so a lot of critters, little shad, small bluegills and crawls and stuff like that, they like to hang up inside of all the algae and they blend in pretty well. So the bass like to hang out on the perimeters and like to attack them right up on the bank. So we might get a blow up or two pretty close to the bank, we'll see. Mainly confident when it comes to uh, the square bill, like a three to six foot diver. You cast it straight out, you cast it along the bank, and it's perfect depth. Tempe Town Lake is not very deep. Max depth is probably about 18 feet, so now looking at a super deep lake. All right guys, so I just passed up a bunch of water, and a bunch of good looking water. I mean, all this water right along the bank has a good clarity, it's a good color, possibility to catch a fish pretty much anywhere, but I don't have a whole lot of time, so. I'm just trying to fish anywhere where there's any sort of structure or uh, any little deeper embankments and whatnot. We'll see. Fish love hanging out around these stairs and hiding up into the shaded spots of them. And then they come out and they ambush all the shad, bluegill, all that good stuff. So these areas are really good areas to fish as well. Wherever you see a ramp, the secondary portion of the ramp always acts as a drop off and fish love to hang around those areas because it's the only area in lakes like this that act as drop offs and there's clearly fish around here because there's a dead bass down there. Looks like someone either caught it and couldn't get the hook out or maybe a crane or something grabbed it and only ate a quick portion of it and just left the rest there. Unfortunately, two dead bass, one dead cat, one dead carp. They're not doing well in here, and that's clear. That's a pretty fresh dead bass. He probably died last night. What a bummer. Oh, there goes that crank. Probably broken. Oh, it's not going to swim right now. Something's broken on it. What a bummer. Did it hit that wall pretty hard. Oh, yeah, half the bill snapped off. Something thumped it, just two fish, that's all. take him just a dink look at that little guy right there not bad just a little tiny dink little tiny dink right there but hey a fish is a fish thanks for the bite dude i just felt that little tiny thump i was like no way i actually just got bit that was a shock the fish i've seen they're they are healthy looking but i've seen so many dead fish too I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if there's that algae bloom that's really affecting them or what. But that fish was at least really close, just like I suspected. Shoot, maybe get a couple of those little dinks. I'd be happy with that. Right at the end of the day. I mean, we've been out for about 25 minutes, walking all the way up and down the bank. I'd take a little bit longer for that. Walk all the way down to the deeper end. Cause that's where I feel like the bigger ones will be. I wish these bass would make it easy on me sometimes, you know, just, just eat the baited hook, 
eat at every cast. Make me look like a good fisherman for once. All right, we're going down to the dock. I feel like that's gonna be our best chance. It's almost like a parasite got a hold of that bass because his entire body cavity is just like ripped apart. All right, guys, so we are done. Man, I'll tell you what, I hate how they put all these buildings in downtown Tempe, but I will say it's pretty cool looking at night. But uh, we walked the bank, we fished just about everywhere that we could before it got dark. We only had about 45 minutes. I was able to get that one fish and only that one fish. I did get that one weird bump that I do think was a fish. I think he either just really intensely hit it and just bumped it out of the way or he just kind of nipped it. But uh, I flipped back in that area and nothing hit again. So I'm not 100% sure what was going on. But uh, I am pretty sure that that was a fish. Not really a whole lot. It was a bummer. I saw a couple dead catfish, couple dead carp, couple dead bass, and also a dead bluegill. So there's obviously some bad algae that's sucking up all the oxygen out of the water and killing these fish, which is a big bummer. So it's gonna be real tough to catch these fish during the summer months here. But uh, your best bet, if you come out here and you wanna fish for some largemouth, probably first thing in the morning. That water's cool, it's got a little bit more oxygen. The fish will be chewing. Probably use lipless, cranks, crankbaits, of any sort, deep, square bills, whatever you got. And you could probably also drop shot, that's always a great go-to here in Arizona and everywhere in the Southwest for the matter. And wacky rig, just a, I, I'd say a weighted wacky rig during the summer, just because it gets a little bit more of a reaction bite. But I mean, if they're really not hitting, go weightless, go finesse, and you'll probably be able to get them to hit. I mean, I didn't get any fish, but I did get some okay exercise. I mean, I walked a, a mile up and down, so a couple miles all together, and shoot, it is what it is. Sometimes you catch fish, sometimes you don't. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys so very much. We are almost at 3,000 subs. Help me get there, and uh, we'll see you guys next time on Southwest Fishing.